Whoops. All right. I got the bed box. Of course, got to get all these wires sort of situated. We'll go underneath. See, so now the first story is in. Let's get the vents back in place. So I had to, in order to get the first story in, I had to take the uh, the side vents out. But now the second story is out. It'll fit. Okay. So, Cat5 cables come into the glands, through the glands, into the net side of the APC surge protectors. Then they come into my right angle RJ45 connectors with the Cat5 cable. Those run to the top, upstairs, to the top story. Of course, this is the cable to the fan. This is the four pin connector. And then that will be that. And it will be this. Out. So I connect the rivet, the 24 pin ribbon cable. So this says expansion one. So I push it down gently, evenly. You gotta be careful with ribbon cables. And I run this to my first expansion board. Just like that. This one goes into expansion port number two. Again, even pressure, a little bit of rocking, get a good seat. Okay, and we plug it into the second expansion port, just like that. So next, we're gonna run some cables. Sorry about the noise, my kids are playing with their musical instruments next door. Okay, so, First thing I'm going to run is I have my electrical cord. This is going to power the power supply. And this is something I either whack, I hacked off of a vacuum cleaner or a power strip or something like that. And I put spades on the end. Um, and I think I actually put these on earlier for this project uh, when I was testing out the power supply. So I'm just going to run it through the bottom left hole over here. And I want this towards the bottom. So I got these poles already lifted. So the black one goes right here. And I have spades on these because these are screw downs and you know I want them to stay. And then the next one is a neutral or a white. Let me screw that one down. The last one I gotta be a little careful of because it's sharing the, the pen with the uh, ground block. So I'll loosen this up. I'm gonna slide this in right over top of the other one. And you make sure they're both in there. Let's just screw this back down. Yep. 
Yeah, just like that. Power supply plugged in. Now, I really would not want to plug it in right now because I got all these wires going around. If black and red touch each other, bad things would happen. Okay, so next thing is I have pigtails. So I got eight pigtails, eight per hole, six holes, total of 48 for all 48 of the ports. This guy, this guy, this guy, all go in the front. This bundle, and this bundle. Okay, so second story's in. We have the power cables fished through. We have the pigtails fished through. So now we're gonna start connecting the power. So there are six power connections, two for each board, each power, eight ports. So do right turns to bring the teeth up. Give these guys a little bit of twist. Make sure there's no fraying. Let's get the V positive on this one. This power block is called labeled V2. And this is the one that I'm gonna be powering the whole board off. So that's the first one. And these we make sure they're tight. We also do bare wire. So I don't put ferrules or anything else on them. It's just straight copper. Okay. This one I'm going to do positive first. And on these boards, the positive connections are on the inside. We want these to be stable. We don't want these to be loose. They create little micro arcs if they're loose. It causes heat, heat causes fire. Fire results in a bad light show. Negative.
Yeah, between the, the 12 cables for the power, just to run it up to the board, and the 48 pigtails coming in, and then you have the, um, the ribbon cables, then you have the two Cat5 cables. It gets to be quite a, a cabling mess here. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to do the first expansion board. These I did need to run up through the, the little holes just because of the wire lengths. Teeth are all the way up. Things in. You got to watch out for loose wires. You don't want a stray strand of copper bridging over from one side to the other. This guy. Ooh, I saw some, I saw one of the strands go wild on me when I put it into the holes. Gently wiggle back and forth, a little bit of pressure, coax it in there, all the wires, and now we tighten it down. Good and tight. And I hold the connector. When I go to tighten it, I'm holding on to the connector because I can twist it right off the board. Expansion board number two. So I'm going to do ground first. And you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy into your hole. Very good. Very good. You want it to be clamping down on copper, not on insulation. You want no copper showing. connector to go. Binder clips work pretty good just to keep them from falling away. Okay, we're going to do the V positive first. Okay, <clears throat> last one. No fraying. Okay, he is in. Make sure his belly's tight. Good. Good. Okay. This is my Ethernet connection. Pop him in there. This is my DMX connection. Pop him in right there. Okay. I think we're ready to try and power this bad boy up. Here's the power cord. Let's do it. And hopefully it all works because man, it is hard to get down to that second that first story once the second story is in place. It's one thing I'm not a huge fan of this design is that once it's then servicing it is gonna be a pain. Ooh, we got lights. Falcon Christmas! Look at that. Look at that. Let's turn off some lights. Look at that. You see it glowing green in there? Look at that. All pretty. The OLED screen is up. 
Wow. Has a Wi-Fi address? Interesting. Anyway. So it powered up. Yeehaw. 